All right. We're going to talk about segments, meaning line segments, and those segments being congruent. And so congruent segments. Congruent is going to be this new symbol that we use. As far as I know, it's new. And it's going to mean that the segments are equal in length. Uh, segments that have the same length. So it's important because we don't say segments are equal unless they are the exact same segment. We'll get into that in a little, just a little bit. Another fancy words that we're going to introduce are postulates uh, or axioms. Both of these are essentially um, accepted as proof um, in geometry. And so it's just going to be a rule that you accept as, proof, uh, as true. And the most important part here is that a rule that is accepted without proof. Meaning, when you look at this today, you're going to say, well, duh, that makes a ton of sense. Why did we even have to point that out and give it a name? But that's what a postulate is. Now, we've talked about segments that are congruent, and we're, we're going to talk about congruent Let's say we have this segment AB and we have this segment XY. Why not? And let's say that they are the exact same length. First off, how do you mark them congruent? Um, in geometry, we're going to use these little things called hashes, um, or if you prefer, hashadashes. And that, that second one was not a technical term, just so you know, but these hash marks. And so if you have to do more than one, you can double it up, and you can say, oh, that one's congruent to that one. You can also use three and so on. But so AB is congruent to XY. If we're going to talk about the segments, and if we're going to use congruent, we're going to do segments. But if we're talking about them being equal, if we want to use an equal sign, we're not going to talk about the segment. We're going to talk about the distance. A, B, and X, Y. Distance. So when you don't put the bar across the top, you're talking about the distance. When you do put the bar across the top, you're talking about the segment. Distances. Or lengths, if you prefer. So, that's huge. Don't get these mixed up. Segments are congruent and distances are equal. And so I'm going to say equal distances rather than equal segments. Um, AB is equal to itself as far as being the same exact segment. Now, now for the very, very straightforward stuff. The ruler postulate. If you want to find the distance between, say, A and B, you're going to take some relative position meaning a corresponding coordinate. So A right now is at negative 8, and B is at 3. And you could just say, well, 3 minus a negative 8, if you subtract their distances from each other, or if you say, well, 8 to 0 and then 3 to 0, um, if you subtract their distances, you get what? 11. And so the distance from A to B is 11. You could also have done negative 8 minus 3, but the only problem there is you get negative 11. And so one thing we're going to talk about is we're going to put absolute values around that. Hopefully you've seen absolute value bars before. All that means is you're making talking about the distance, so you're going to make it positive. So that distance is 11. And so the ruler postulate just says you can take x2 and subtract x1, or you can do it the other way around. It doesn't matter because we're taking the absolute value of it, and that equals the distance. Notice again, we're not putting the bar across it because it represents the distance. Now, so you can you try using the ruler postulate. 
Um, I'm going to measure this length in inches. And I'm going to start at 1. And I'm going to end at 4 and... Mm, four and a quarter. So we've got one at one and one at four and a quarter. And so the ruler postulate says I'm going to subtract those and I'm going to get three and a quarter. Now if you want to get technical, it's probably halfway in between the quarter and the, the five sixteenths, but I'm not going to go to thirty seconds. So three and a quarter, and how did I get that? I did four and a quarter minus one inch. And I got three and a quarter. Now you could also measure from zero, which would be the more logical way to do it, but we're talking about the ruler postulate, so I thought I would do it that way. Um, and then you can measure in centimeters. I'm going to do this one straight from zero, because so I've got from zero all the way to 3.9 centimeters. I'm going to put the inches right there. We use the quotation marks to represent the inches. And let's keep going. Segment addition postulate. Basically, if you have three points, A, B, and C, and they are collinear, that's a word that we, we talked about last time, meaning they're all in one line, they share a line, and B is between C, then the whole thing AC is equal to when you add up the smaller parts. So AC is equal to AB plus BC. Notice again, no segment lines over it because I'm talking about the distances and I'm adding their lengths up. So whenever I'm using the lengths, I don't want to put the bars across it. So in this one, AC equals AB plus BC. And so we know that the whole thing, AB here is 5 and BC here is 6. And so I know that whole thing is going to be 11. Basically, you add up the parts and you get the 11. <clears throat> Why is it important that they must be collinear? Well, if they're not collinear and you have AB is 5 and BC is 6, it doesn't make sense to say that AC is 11. It can't be true. <coughs> because, sorry, 11 is the result of them going straight across and this is definitely going to be smaller than when they're straighter. And so that's why it's important that they be, they be collinear. Because it's not no longer going to be true. That's a kind of a weird U. Um, AC will not be equal to AB plus BC. And we could actually use trigonometry later on to prove that. Um, and show that it's not going to be true. All right. Real quick, a real-life example. Road trip out west. The next leg of the trip is taking you 300 miles from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, to Wall, South Dakota. If you've ever been there, you see crazy, crazy... Um, sorry, so the Wall Drug Store. Well advertised on the highway. After you've traveled 75 miles, somebody needs a bathroom stop figures as much. So you stop, you calculate how much further you have to drive until you reach the famous wall drug. Um, because you started seeing all those billboard signs. And so you've gone 75 miles. You knew to begin with that it was 300 miles. And so using our segment addition postulate, that would mean that from S to W, Sioux Falls to Wall, you'd have to add the total from your stop in Mitchell, South Dakota to MW. So SM plus MW equals the whole thing. And so we've got 300 equals 75 plus something. Let's call it X. Or you could even call it MW. So you subtract your 75 and you know that you have to get 225. So after you make the, the bathroom stop, how much further is wall? 225 miles left until wall, South Dakota. So there you have it. The segment addition postulate, some congruent segments.